I'm going to start off with the air mouse here. Alright, first off, which I think is totally cool. Um, initially, I was going to try to purchase a wireless keyboard and a mouse. But I you know, decided I didn't need it. This was only 10 bucks, I think. And most people I see online use it in this mode where you can use the cursor and kind of use it as a pointer. Something like this would be great for, see, it's still kind of buggy. I don't like this mode. I possibly need to calibrate my accelerometer in my iPhone, which, you know, I really don't know how to do yet. I, you know, it just seems like it's a lot to try to figure out. A lot of the movement online seems a bit more seamless, but it doesn't seem like it's it's going to go where I want it to go when I want it to go there. So I usually use it in the trackpad mode, which is a lot easier to use. And it's a lot, it seems, it feels a lot more natural to me. Now, whenever you're using it in this mode, I feel like I run out of space going side to side. But the cool thing about it is, you know, I have a keyboard also, which is available for whenever I'm um, browsing the internet or something like that. Maybe I want to Google something. Uh, and you get a cool update of what's going on. Now, if you want to use the mouse and just use the trackpad, you just shake the phone and the keyboard disappears. You shake it again keyboard reappears I normally use it in landscape mode this way I can move a lot faster on the most part it acts just like the the trackpad of your actual um, the trackpad on your laptop there are some subtle differences which may or may not be noticeable to the regular user but, I mean, it's just totally cool that I could just sit down in my living room, browse the internet, and not really have to purchase any more hardware. See, this is totally cool. And if I decide that I want to use my keyboard, just shake the phone again, and I type some more things, you know. Blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Anyway. Now, one thing I figured was really cool was uh, were some of the options. Like there was a media player in here that I can use for iTunes. Now, as soon as I activate that, iTunes pops up, and I can just listen to a song. Totally cool. Say I want to sit here and browse the internet. While I listen to music. And say I decide I don't want to listen to that any longer. Doesn't matter what I have open. Can automatically pause the music. And let's say I want to... Let's say I want to watch a show or a movie or something. Just click on the show, click on the movie, and there you go. These are all my little shortcuts. So essentially, I'm using my laptop as Apple TV, but not really. I have a few more 
capabilities of an Apple TV, and I'm sure Apple TV, since it was specifically built for television, has more 